Um, we've, we've put some scenarios in during the week uh, so that we're adaptable um, tomorrow. So we'll see what, what the scenario is when we, when we arrive tomorrow and uh, the, the team leaders and Faz will, will make some decisions around how we'll start the game and so on. Um, but like Rob said, we've had a good week and we'll feel we're ready for Storm Kira and Wales. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, obviously, whenever the, the wind and the rain comes in, it's uh, it's a little bit tricky. But um, I think just like I said last week, after the game, like we have brilliant callers. Um, they'll pick the right options, and and the guys are all good at their drill. So um, still pretty confident we can get the job done in the lineup. Um, yeah, I don't know if it, it's, it, don't know if it's the key, but like it, it certainly does add to it. Um, and you know, I think in terms of the crowd, like we got to we got to have big moments in the game. They get the crowd up for it and get them behind us. So um, you know, I think the way the game started last week, uh, Scotland are probably on the ascendancy from from the first sort of five six minutes. Um, so hopefully, we can flip that around this week and, and get the atmosphere going. Yeah, how, how we probably set the week up Mondays. Monday, we're all we're all doing a review together. We have small groups that will that will have reviews, and we'll come together as a pack or a backline, and then we'll bring the team together. So that process, the last number of weeks, has helped with uh, a deeper understanding of how we want to play the game, and then when we go on the field, a bit more cohesion. So certainly, this week has delivered a bit of that, um, and it's so pleasing to watch that unfold. Um, so we're a step closer to where we want to be. Um, and we, we'll hope to continue that. Um, John, Cian appeared to have some problem with scrums last week. What was that, and did you sort it out? It's um, for him. A little bit, a little bit of cohesion bits around that as well. There's a small bit of, you know, I felt at times we were a little bit passive as well, um, which was a little bit disappointing. And um, sometimes there's so much going on in people's minds to make sure the game plan works, and and the, that edge, um, or, or the, that edge isn't always there. And, at times, we, we could have brought a bit more edge to what we were doing. So, you didn't have chats with the referee, though. Yeah, was there was, there was, there was, there was so the, with, with what would happen around the referee, w would have been around the headspace. Mm -hmm. So the lads were sitting down, and, and Scotland would come down on top of, on top of his head, so he had to move his head, which would open up a, a joint. So that was, that was what the conversation was about. Um, for us to be able to manage, um, manage, us in that, manage ourselves in that space, that, that's what we did during the week. We, we, we problem solved a little bit. Um, like I said, that cohesion bit um, with, with our front rowers, with, with, with all nine of them, um, has been important this week. And we'd feel that we've had a good, good week and we're, we're very much looking forward and excited to, to take on Wales tomorrow uh, in front of, in front of our, our home crowd. You know. Yeah, I think the, the, there's always going to be that communication between Elaine Roland and, and World Rugby and, and the, and the team. The, the, the countries, you know, there's always going to be that communication. Um, I thought it was a difficult first day for them as well. There was a lot of, a lot of weight at the, at, at the buying stage. Um, but again, the, 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 you know, we're lucky that we've got uh, Roman Poit. He's, he's, he's a very good ref. Uh, he manages the situation really, really well. And uh, Wales have been talking about making sure that uh, they're nice and clean. So we'd be much the same where we want to we have, have a good game. Uh, like Rob said, we want to create moments for our home crowd um, to get into. Um, we don't want to slow the game down by, by being messy in that part of the game. So we're looking forward to, uh, we're looking forward to scrum. We're excited to scrum. Um, but we, we, want it, we want it nice and clean, just like Wales are saying they, they want it, you know. Is it just caution risk that you really need to get on site straight away as well, John? We want, to start, we want to start accurate. We want to start with discipline. Uh, you know, if you want to have a fast start, you need to be nice and accurate. There needs to be a level of control in what you do, and you need to have discipline. So we'll be doing all those things to make sure that we get, uh, to get a start that we want. Um, we're, we're focusing more on what, what we need to do. You know, we'll let Roman do his job. Um, we, we'll prepare for what Wales might present. But, you know, the focus is what, on what we do. Um, developing that cohesion during the week, um, being clear in our minds and... And hopefully delivering tomorrow, and that's that's what the boys are really really excited to do tomorrow. Rob, um, John Six spoke about the non-negotiables going on site, you know, like accuracy and um, determination and all the rest. He's not being bullied here tomorrow. Also, non-negotiable. 
yeah, for sure. Um, I think that's been a like a trademark of the of the Irish team over the last few years um, to be physically dominant. Um, and I thought last week we had it in parts, um, but we probably weren't as consistent as we usually are in that aspect of the game. So um, look, we we know we're going to have to step that up a little bit this week um, and find that consistency, just so we don't let teams off uh, off the hook. Um, and we just keep putting pressure on in terms of, of dominance. How much key was it on Monday last week? I, I don't think I, I, j I just think consistency wise, you know, um, at times at times we were very good, and at times we probably just um, probably slightly lacked a little bit. But I think in terms of that, uh, you can't take away from Scotland the the way they played. Um, they forced the pressure onto us, and then they created that. So. Um, I think just being able to, to really impose ourselves on that more consistently is probably what we need. Uh, we discussed the, the rivalry over the last season and last year, and maybe the final chance to beat Scotland in terms of the match that came along the last year. Um, not particularly, no. Um, I think this week's been about ourselves um, and getting w w what we know we can deliver right um, and bringing that to the game this weekend. Um, obviously, we, we looked at them and um, we know that we know what they're going to bring, um, but I think it's it's the majority of the weeks have been about ourselves getting that cohesion, um, and just training what we what we need to bring this week, and and really hope that like, you know towards the end of the week now it's feeling good, so delivering that tomorrow. John, do you see as Wales' biggest threat at six a.m. Saturday? Um, the, the the way they play itself, the, the width they have an attack, so. Besides the, the the bodies that they have, how they play, how they play. You know, Wayne Pivac with Scarlets when he came over first, uh, they could they could attack using the full pitch, and um, their kicking game is really really good as well. So I, I wouldn't focus in on individuals. I would focus on on how good their attacking game is, in the width that they have, the ability to move the ball, and uh, how how good their kicking game is. Um, oh, I I think both teams. I think both teams can play with width. Um, I believe they can, and um, I don't think either team would want to see a storm come in and, and take away from the occasion. So we'll see what we'll see what arrives tomorrow when we arrive, and uh, hopefully it won't be Storm Kira, um, you know. Um, so we'll, we'll find out. Um, yeah, th I think we, we prepped well this week. Um, it's another week where we, we found more cohesion as a front row and as a pack. Um, and to be honest, like we, we have to be better than last week. Um, three scrum penalties against us it wasn't good enough. And um, you know, I think, like I said, I think it's been a good prep week. But now it's probably just about delivering it on the day. You know, whether they throw a different picture at us or. Um, if the ref's not seen it eye to eye, you know, we just have to get on with our stuff and show good pictures and really get a bit of a, a solid platform from the, the scrum. Take one How much more do you think Oh, I think, you know, we've we've had a number of weeks uh, prepped for, for Scotland. We have another week in us now. Um, there's plenty more to come. Uh, you know, there's a huge amount we, we've got done. And there's been huge positives out of last week. Um, the win has really been important. Um, as a coaching group, as a whole group, we're, we're unbelievably excited about where we can go with the team. Um, but we'll do it step by step, and, and tomorrow is, is another step for us, and, and it's important that we that, that we take it. So we're looking forward to it. John Rob, sorry, this is a little left field, but there's talk about Six Nations going away from terrestrial and pay-per-view. Is that something you'd welcome that the Six Nations would have to be paid for by punters? Or? I really don't have much of, a, much of an opinion on it. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, <laughs> That's more for a couple of color brackets up, I think. Yeah, I'm low, le low level scrum, scrum stuff. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll switch into the environment. Not at all, not at all. <laughs>